Have you ever wanted to shoot for the stars? Or any other astronomical object in the sky? Well, this is Unistella's Odyssey Pro Smart Telescope. Made for beginner, backyard, and amateur astrophotographers, Unistellar's discovery range includes the Odyssey and Odyssey Pro. These are lightweight, simple to use, and versatile smart telescopes, so you can capture everything from stars to galaxies, nebulae, planets, the sun, and more. For the past month, I've had the Odyssey Pro and have been photographing all sorts of stellar objects, even the recent solar eclipse. I'll take you through my photographing marathon overnight in the suburbs of upstate New York, utilizing the telescope's deep, dark, anti-light pollution tech to capture stunning images even with the light pollution of a city nearby, and share with you the images I captured of the sun during the eclipse. We'll check out the specs, see the images you can capture, and understand who this telescope is really for. To start with, if you're unfamiliar with smart telescopes, they're basically telescopes with integrated digital cameras and processing inside, and they're often controlled through smartphone apps. They're all-in-one packages that let you discover the sky in a whole new way. The Odyssey Pro also has a fully automated go-to alt azimuth mount to slew to and track any point or object in the sky. It requires no manual adjustments, no collimation or focus settings, which streamlines the stargazing experience for users of all levels. Now, before we get to the show, let's dive into the specs. The Odyssey Pro is a Newtonian reflector made for both planet and deep sky objects. It has a mirror diameter of 85 millimeters and a focal length of 320 millimeters which means it's wide enough to just capture the sun, but can also find smaller objects. It has a focal ratio of f3.9 and a limiting magnitude of 17.2. To give you a reference, the human eye averages around six magnitudes and the Hubble Space Telescope is around 31.5. So this is really nice for amateur astronomy. The stellar autofocus focuses to infinity to keep images sharp and clear. It features a field of view of 33.6 arc minutes, which is comparable to the size of the moon. This means it is good for viewing larger space phenomena like nebulae and star clusters over individual stars or planets. The telescope produces 4.1 megapixel image resolution and saves the photo automatically to Unistellar's app and your phone as a PNG. Finally, it has 64 gigabytes of storage and a five hour battery life. Additionally, you can easily connect a battery pack via USB-C for extended charging without the need for AC power. If you're worried about five hours seeming short, when I shot overnight, the temperature was in the mid thirties and the battery still lasted the full five hours. The physical design is beautifully minimalistic and lightweight. The combined telescope and tripod weigh just 14.3 pounds and the telescope measures 19.9 .9 inches in length so you can carry it to remote locations in a backpack or pack it as a carry-on. The three-stage aluminum tripod is also sturdy and adjustable. The Odyssey Pro has a motorized Altaz mount to quickly slew to and track objects, which is great for beginner and experienced astrophotographers because there's no fiddling around with star charts or adjustments, so you can see so much more in one night of viewing. The telescope easily orients itself by sampling the night sky and is fully controlled via the Unistellar app, where you can choose exactly what you want your telescope to look at, including the database of 5,000 plus objects and 37 million stars. On the top of the telescope are four supports, which give you a beautiful cross-section effect for the stars. On one side are USB-A and USB-C ports. A USB-C to AC adapter with three international plugs is included, so you can charge it wherever you're chasing the stars. On the other side is the Nikon eyepiece, specific to the Pro version. Developed in collaboration with Nikon, you can look into the eyepiece to see an OLED micro display, which shows the exact view you see on your phone, down to zooming in and out on the app. Unistellar claims it makes the only intelligent telescopes in the world to be equipped with an eyepiece. It is nice to have some sort of traditional viewing experience, but I do have split feelings on it, because it's essentially the same as viewing it on your phone. It's the same image, and my phone has an OLED screen. Saying that, it does give you a brighter, better view than we can see with our own eyes looking through a normal telescope, because your eyes can only take in so much light and color information at one time. The eyepiece makes sharing and teaching fun and interactive, and keeps the whole viewing experience simple and convenient. Though, for nostalgic and pricing purposes, I'm on the fence with it. Since this telescope is fully app-controlled, the app interface is obviously incredibly important. Unistellar's app is both Apple and Android compatible, and I found the app relatively clean and easy to use. It's broken down into four main pages, Home, Catalog, Science, and Gallery. Once you connect the telescope on the home page over Bluetooth, it will bring you to the photographing section. There are two buttons, so you can choose either a single exposure or a long exposure. The long exposures stack on each other every four seconds, so you can literally see your image exposed in real time, which I think is really cool to watch. 
Additionally, if the telescope detects any shaking from wind or other disturbances, it will pause the exposure and give you a little notification, so your long exposures aren't blurred and you can breathe a sigh of relief. The catalog page is where you'll find all the objects that are available in your visible sky area based on your GPS location. It's broken down into comets, stars, clusters, nebula, galaxy, asteroid, and generally planet, which includes objects in our solar system like the sun, moons, and planets. And yes, Pluto is listed as a planet, which makes my childhood self very happy. There's also a search bar if you want to search for a specific object. The science page is generally the community page, and gallery is where you'll find all your photographs. Unistellar also offers to save each image with this fun graphic, so you can quickly see when, where, and for how long you took the image. Additionally, under the settings icon, you can find where to choose between city, suburbs, and countryside, depending on your amount of light pollution. And when you're done for the night, the park option returns the telescope to its storage position and turns it off. All right, now for the fun bit. I took the Odyssey Pro for a long weekend to test out both its astro and solar capabilities. Conveniently, a solar eclipse also means a new moon, which is the perfect time to take pictures of the stars, so long as it's not cloudy. So, I set up on the back porch in a suburban area and settled in for my smaller version of the Messier Marathon. For those who don't know, the Messier Marathon is, as the name says, a marathon, where you stay up all night to attempt to see all of 110 objects in the Messier catalog. This has everything from nebulas to galaxies to star clusters, and I felt it would be a great test of both the telescope's slewing, tracking, and exposing capabilities. I will note, I did not do all 110 objects, because I wanted to have nice long exposure times for some of the galaxies and nebulae to really see the image quality. That, and I had to get up the following morning to go chase the eclipse, but more on that later. The whole setup of the telescope takes seconds. Simply place the telescope on the tripod, tighten two screws, press the singular on button, and you're ready to go. Just connect the telescope via Bluetooth, have the telescope orient itself, and you can start slewing to objects. So here are some of the images I captured along with the stars, moon, and planets that I've seen throughout the month. For photographing in a suburban environment, I was very pleased with how these images came out. The deep, dark, anti-light pollution technology cleared up spill light that happened when an exterior light turned on. Though after 10 to 15 minutes of exposure, that constant light did turn up in the final image. The star clusters mostly stay as bright pinpoints of light with minimal trailing. The nebulas show up in the exposures very quickly and capture the stunning colors we've come to expect from space images. And the galaxies are by far my favorite to capture. They're in focus and the focal length means you can see the stars in space around them. I also grabbed some photos of the moon. The moon is super clear and you can see all the beautiful spots and craters that you expect from using a super telephoto lens. This telescope, as you would expect from a camera sensor, thrives with bright large objects like the nebula and star clusters. The individual stars were fine. They have nice crosses and are quick to capture. The planets are equally okay. I unfortunately didn't really capture any on my own because the times they were in the sky weren't conducive to capturing photos. But Interstellar has photos of both Jupiter and Saturn on their website. Although the planets are small in frame, they still have commendable detail and are worth finding in the sky. Although I didn't do a full Messier marathon, I have faith that if you wanted to, this telescope could help you accomplish it. It quickly locates and slews to objects with the tap of a button, and in a couple of minutes you could have moved from star cluster to the next galaxy or nebula. The battery ran out after the expected 5 hours even though the temperature was cold, only in the mid-30s. Again, you can either run an extension cord or hook it up to an external power pack. With the use of the app, this also meant I was able to capture photos from the warmth and comfort of inside the house. Now that we've tested the telescope's nighttime capabilities, let's see how it handles the sun. The Odyssey Pro comes with an included solar filter, which easily pops on and off with its magnetic front. I took some test photos of the sun before the eclipse, and the Odyssey Pro had no problem slowing to and tracking the sun. It took beautifully textured pictures, and you can see some nice sunspots. On the day of the eclipse, we ended up in northern Vermont to get the clearest sky we could, and I wasn't disappointed. Not only did it do a good job of tracking the partial eclipse, but just as the moon fully covered the sun, it captured the explosion of light that became the corona. I had such a fun time shooting through the stars with the Odyssey Pro, and I am solidly happy with most of the images we captured. 
the Odyssey bridges optics with convenience and portability. The focal length means you can capture both deep space sky objects and objects in our solar system. Beginners and amateurs alike will love the quick slewing of the go-to mount, all conveniently controlled through the app, which also shows you what's available to see in the sky. Its lightweight and sleek design means you can use it on your porch or a carry in a backpack carry-on. The fact that this is an all-in-one unit is great, because you don't have to have a huge setup jerry-rigged together. It's a telescope and camera and star tracker all-in-one portable form factor. The Odyssey Pro does come at a cost that pushes it more towards experienced astrophotographers or even educators. Good telescopes with quality optics and electronics aren't cheap. The included OLED screen and compatibility with phones and tablets means that you can share the astronomical viewing and photographic experience in real time with your friends and family. This is a great way to get kids who are used to screens interested in space, which can sometimes be dull through your traditional telescope compared to the stunning images we see in the media. Overall, I think if you're a beginner or amateur astrophotographer looking for an all-in-one smart telescope to explore the sky or share images on social media, convene a gathering of friends and family to look at the stars, or an educator teaching astrophotography or about space in general, this could be a worthwhile investment. But let us know what you think. What do you want to capture with Unicellar's Odyssey Pro Smart Telescope? Or you could let us know if you think Pluto is a planet or not. Either way, I'm Erica with B&H. Keep being creative.